So, what are your goals for um, 2024? Well, 2024, I, I, I'm sort of loath to ever set sort of New Year's resolutions or goals. But I, I would really, really like uh, this year just to build on the sort of solid foundations that we've laid over the last few years. And I would also like to improve myself a little bit. Now, uh, obviously, uh, my daughter's getting a little older now. And when, when you have a child, one of the first things you notice is how much time you spend with your child and putting into your child. And they get to a certain age and they're a, bit, a little bit older, a little bit more independent, and they're spending a little bit more time outside the house. Mm. And I want to get back to the gym. I want to spend a little bit more time on my physical improvement. I want to prioritize my running again. So I'm not just sort of doing it once, twice a month, but I'm doing it every week again. And I really want to just generally improve uh, my health and fitness and getting it back to sort of pre pre COVID really, because um, there were so many lockdowns. I kept losing my fitness, getting it back, losing my fitness, getting it back. And sort of post the sort of um, final COVID lockdown, I have spent an awful lot of time with my family, which I'm, I, I feel really, really happy to be able to say that I could do what I have done. But I would like to sort of spend a little bit more time prioritizing uh, my, my personal fitness. That's one thing I really want to do. And I would also like politically um, really just to, to build more on the community aspect of what we do. Uh, I, I think, um, and we're going to reflect that in some of the streams that we're going to be doing. So. Uh, on the New Year's stream, we had a wonderful couple who are who are really in for the community-based aspect of what we do, and uh, we're thinking of doing sort of a, a parenting stream uh, awesome. and bringing more people together uh, to, to sort of build stronger bonds. Now, obviously, we don't know what the political um, the political landscape will be like at the end of this year. I should imagine the Conservative Party will go further and further into freefall, but. I'm not sure whether that will open doors for nationalists or whether that will open more doors for the Labour Party. So I, I don't want to see us put all of our eggs in one basket. I want to see us keep to keep diversifying what we do as a group and building on the things we've had real success with. So one side of it will be the community building, but I really want to keep the pressure up with the uh, anti-migrant hotel demonstrations because they were a massive massive hit last year and we had huge success getting some of them stopped getting some of those plans stopped